It's been a big release cycle for WebStorm 2017.3 with many new features and improvements for code analysis, chess test running, debugging, Vue.js, and more. Let's look at what's new in WebStorm 2017.3. WebStorm has long excelled at JavaScript code analysis. 2017.3 adds several useful productivity improvements. Our JavaScript code completion and documentation is improved by packaging standard TypeScript definition files. We previously shipped our own. Now you'll get more APIs as well as documentation available via F1. In the pop-up, click the arrow icon to open the page on Mozilla's MDN site. In TypeScript, sometimes you want to create an alias for a complex type. Use our new refactoring to automate this. If the type is used multiple times, WebStorm will suggest replacing all the names. We also now have a code intention to automate converting an alias into an interface. Have a subclass and you want to pull a method up to the superclass? Don't cut and paste. Instead, use our pull members up refactoring, for example, to a TypeScript abstract class. One last refactoring, extract parameter lets you introduce a new parameter to a function with the default value. The Jest test runner has gained in popularity and WebStorm's Jest integration gets some big improvements. First, test results are super fast thanks to direct integration with Jest's watch mode. Add the dash dash watch flag to the run configuration's Jest options field and run the configuration. Then, start changing your code or the tests of your code and watch as test results update almost as you type. If you use Mocha instead of Jest, the same applies in WebStorm 2017.3. Just edit the Mocha run configuration and add dash dash watch. Three other improvements to our Jest support. First, Jest coverage reports are woven into the IDE. Run your tests under coverage, view the report, jump to lines and source, and see gutter color decorations with red indicating no test coverage. Jest has a great snapshot testing feature. WebStorm now makes it easy to update the snapshot for a failing test. You can update snapshots directly from the tool window. If a later change fails the snapshot, WebStorm tells you. Finally, if you're using Create React app with script versions such as React Scripts TS, you can now create a Jest run configuration, then run your tests under the Node.js debugger. For example, set a breakpoint to inspect state in your test. WebStorm has long supported debugging JavaScript running in the browser via our own Chrome extension. This required some setup though. WebStorm 2017.3 now connects to Chrome directly without the additional extension, so debugging JavaScript from WebStorm is now much easier. WebStorm previously included a graphical client for testing REST endpoints. We now have a new file-oriented HTTP client. First, create a new file of type HTTP request, which gets a .HTTP file extension. This file type has syntax highlighting and autocomplete for writing REST-style HTTP requests. In this case, an HTTP GET is the default, followed by a URL. When you're ready, run the file and see the response output. Perhaps you have some data in a local JSON file and want to write a test that issues a POST to the endpoint. This time, use the POST verb, include the JSON file, and run it. Finally, if you have a chain of requests, you can separate them with hashes. More to come later on this useful new approach to REST endpoint testing. WebStorm 2017.2 introduced support for Vue.js and 2017.3 brings some useful improvements. Moving between the template and code is now easier with navigation support in Vue template for props, data object properties, computed properties, and methods. Adding new Vue components can be done from the new file pop-up, which then generates the code. Finally, 
2017.3 ships with some useful live templates for view. You can browse the list in the preferences. For example, here's a fast way to add a view computer property using one of the new live templates. WebSworn 2017.3 is packed with other improvements. Here's one that can save lots of time for those using NVM for node versions. Set your default NVM alias as your project interpreter, and WebStorm uses the node version it points to without any extra work. In VCS, if you frequently switch between branches, the IDE will preserve and restore your workspace for that branch. Open files, select run configuration, breakpoints, etc. This shows just a few of the many useful improvements in WebStorm 2017.3. Read the website and release notes for full details, and thanks for watching.